What's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk all about freestyle tutting. Um, this isn't something you'll hear very often because most of the time when you go into, say, a dance battle or something along those lines, a competition, you'll already have gone and you would have labbed and created combos and stuff that you will perform. So the art of freestyle tutting is basically coming up with tutting combos and concepts right on the spot. Now, I've come up with a way that you can start off very simple and yet end up making really intense and crazy um, concepts and combos. So um, stick around and I will show you how to do All right, guys, so for freestyle tutting, there's a couple things you need to know ahead of time. First, you need to be very creative. Um, it just always helps to be creative so you can think of different things you can add to a combo and things like that. The second thing you need to know how to do is a simple hand wave. Even if you're not that great of a dancer and you want to try this out, if you can do a simple hand wave, it will be very helpful and it'll make so these combos can go even further and these freestyles can go further. So if you don't know how to do a simple hand wave, I'll have a link in the description for my video on that. So definitely pause this video, go watch that, and then come back to this. The third thing is when you're freestyling with anything, it tends to be a habit of people to repeat the same moves. So as you're doing these, and you're training yourself to learn how to freestyle tut, make sure you pay attention to what moves you've already done and try to avoid them. And then one last thing is this whole concept comes down to symmetry and getting back to your starting point. This will make more sense in a minute once I get started, so let's get into it. So when freestyle tutting, a, a thing I like to do when I'm teaching myself to do this or when I'm getting ready to start is with a very simple exercise. Now, what this is, is you're just gonna start with your hands facing outward, your palms facing outward, and your hands just facing like so. From here, what you're gonna do is practice moving your hands down and then turning them to the side and keeping them always facing the same direction, no matter where you go. So like this, okay? This is very simple, you just have to do it a bunch and practice that. Once you have the basic four sides down like so, you wanna practice also going on angles. So like this, doing different angles and just keeping them together. Next, what you're gonna do is now try to move them in different ways. So for example, have them go opposite and then at the end, make sure they come back to this starting point. This is the starting point I'm talking about right here and just have it come back to this position. Here's where you're gonna add waves to it. So you do the same first thing with the four corners, but now you're gonna wave into them like so. And do that over and over. And then, like the first step, you're gonna now go on angles, like this. Not just your straight ones here, you're gonna go diagonals, like this. And then, your next step is the same thing. Now this is starting to seem a little repetitive, so like I said, now you're gonna go in different directions, and you're gonna end up coming to this point. This may seem repetitive, but it's gonna make so much sense of how you do freestyle tutting. So now, think of it, instead of just your hands, you're now gonna use your arms. So you're starting like this, and now you're gonna to move to the side, and you're gonna to have to move your body as you go, and you're gonna realize very quickly that after all of this, whatever, so you're here, you can twist, your hands and start doing other things. And in the end, once it's all done, you're gonna go and it'll come back to your starting point. 
Now, I know that seemed a little sloppy or whatever, but again, this is me just kind of teaching you, kind of making um, a little freestyle in a way. So you're going to start noticing that you can make different angles and you're going to start testing out different angles you never thought you would really be making. For example, for me, a lot of what I just did was very awkward for me. I'm not necessarily used to going and making an angle where I have to like lean my whole body down and kind of put my arms out in weird ways. But when you look at it from different angles, you start realizing all these different potential combos and moves that you never even thought you could do when you're in those angles. So you also, where the creativity comes in, is when you're doing this, you need to think of different ways to incorporate different parts of your body. When tutting, you'll notice a lot of people will go and use their head or their knees or something. So I'll have a couple different combo tutorials that I made in the past in the description. So make sure you check those out. And again, just practice this concept. It's very, it's very helpful and it's a very good concept that you can just learn right away um, and definitely work with it. It'll help you create different tutting combos. Um, this also works with finger tutting, same thing. You can just practice going into whatever you want, make different things, you know, whatever. So just practice this, go in front of a mirror if you have to, that always helps. And make sure that if you guys enjoyed this video and you found it very informative, you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment any questions you have, and I'll see you in the next video.